What's going on my friend? My name is Raymond and this is another edition of Check 6 Aviation. This time, Builder's Edition. So once again, we're back at it, back to work. And what you see here is the result of making several decisions because you may see that I live in a manufactured home, essentially a trailer park. I know you mess with me, you mess with the whole trailer park. Um, and there's a whole, not a whole lot of space. So you know, plus getting a completed fuselage out of a manufactured home, not going to happen. So the decision was made to build a shed, build my workshop. Here you see my wife uh, joining in on the festivities, kind of helping out. And uh, I'm digging into the ground because I want to sink these blocks to get the workshop kind of level and um, kind of provide, you know, kind of provide a really good footing because let's face it i live in texas and it can be known as tornado alley although thankfully in abilene we don't get a whole lot of tornadoes i don't think we've had a tornado in about 20 years of course i've only lived here for three but uh i'm so or so i'm told so uh what i'm doing here is i'm building a base you see here i've got the two the first three blocks sunk into the ground and I am actually going to be sinking, you know, I'm not going to be sinking, I'm going to be anchoring the base to the blocks. Now, I did end up doing and redoing this base over a couple of times. So you may see a little bit of uh, overlap going through on, and wondering, okay, why are they doing that again and again and again? Well, now you know the reason. So here we go, yeah, digging in the back side of the frame. And now I've, yeah, at this point in the video, I have already completed the frame and I had already put down the first couple of, uh, of sheets of plywood for the floor but now I've got everything I need for the anchors. And All right, so as you saw that I was taking up the deck that I had put down already, there's a reason for that, and I'll explain why here in a bit. First of all, along here, Along, along the, set, the outside here, I'm going to put some of these along there to kind of give the, the outside walls a better place to grab onto. Uh, and also, I, I needed to take the, the, the planks out, you know, the plywood up so that I can install these. These are mobile home anchors. These will spin into the ground and anchor. I already have a couple of them in place over here. Uh, somewhere. They are Wait, covered up. They're covered up by weeds. So as you see, these will go ahead and strap along here using this strap here. Are you sure these are weeds or not black grass? Uh, well, clover, but yeah, they're weeds. Yep. And then there's another one right here. And then I'll go ahead and strap those in. And this will hold this structure in place in high wind conditions. While I'm doing that, why don't you take a minute or actually just take a quick second to go ahead and smash that like button. It's just below this video. It really does help the channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm you know, uh, understand that you like this and should be shared amongst everyone else in the aviation community. And also if everyone like anyone that likes watching things get built. And while you're at it, leave a comment down below 
let me know what you want to see. If the you know, length of the videos that I've been posting is more to your taste or if they should be shorter or longer. And also, just generally interact and say hello. I won't bite, I promise. At least not hard. All right, well, as you can see, I've got all of the, the, the uh, inner diameter supports for the walls to grab onto better installed. Now I can go ahead and uh, strap down the rear of the, of the, the shed, the workspace, uh, while I call in for reinforcements to help me sink the other two anchors in the front. So we'll get started on that and uh, like Mike Patey says, back to work. All right, I got help. I've got Dave. Say hi, Dave. Hey. Actually, looks a lot like Kenny Rogers, or um, actually Kenny. Well, Kenny's no longer with us, but he really looks like. Don't worry, for you. Um, God, who the jazz singer? Who did you go? Oh who, who did the jazz singer? Oh um, okay, I'll hold your phone. Oh. And your phone. Wait. Then we've got <laughs> dinosaur, Dino, Dino girl. <laughs> Door. Forky. Forky. Anyway, so obviously this is a family affair. Back to work. The ground here in Central Texas can be rather compact. So getting the garden hose yeah, and wetting the ground and making it kind of muddy really helped get these anchors down into the ground. And there I go around and around and around. Yeah, and getting the other one, the other side done and before you know it, I'm lifting up the base so that we can sink them all the way down and get them all the way installed. All right, well, we got the we got the anchors in. As you can see down there, Dave's doing, you know, working with the bolts here. But the problem is we don't have a uh, socket wrench large enough to fit this bolt. So we got to go and find out who has one that we can borrow from, maybe one of the neighbors, or we have to go to the uh, hardware store and buy a wrench or buy a socket set or something, which that's gonna be a challenge. So we may end up having to go ahead and put this project back down on the ground, leave the decks, leave the plywood off until I come back home and have the money to get the sockets that I need and bolt this puppy down. And then we can start working on the walls. Until then, it's Check 6 Aviation saying, so long and always check your sex subscribe. like subscribe down below and hit that notification bell and peace out <laughs>